They used to call them bucket men, but now they carry briefcases and holdalls. Sponges are becoming a rarity. Derek French, the Sheffield United physiotherapist. Having reached the playing heights of Barnet Reserves, he's been Dave Bassett's muscle man at Wimbledon, Watford, and now Sheffield United. <laughs> it was a busy morning in his treatment room. The injured players in the first team squad reported at 10 o'clock. French also had to contend with the telephone calls regarding the vacancies in the international setup. I mean, I mean, I would be available, yes, obviously, if, um, if the job came up, but um, no, not at this moment. And, you know, as I say, please don't phone back again because he doesn't want the job at this moment. OK, thank you very much for coming to Bye-bye now. Bye. French massages minds as well as muscles. A bit more bass. He creates an atmosphere in the Sheffield United dressing room and although he allows himself to be the butt of the players' jokes, he's a vital link in the Sheffield United chain. He gets to know them because he spends a lot of time with them when they're injured and uh, obviously he gets to know them and they've got to trust him and feel that uh, he's a good lad and they enjoy working with him. You know, uh, Frenchy uh, being as bad as he is means that we have quite a few players in the injury room. But when they get in there, French has an open mind in regard to what the Sheffield United players need. Carl Bradshaw uses acupuncture in his match preparation. This is a form of getting more energy to the body. Um, I don't claim to be an acupuncturist, but it's a few um, bits and pieces that I've learned from, uh, from an acupuncturist working in Sheffield. And he tried this on Carl, and Carl felt that it helped him quite a bit. And Sheffield United needed any help going. Without a league win for three months, third from bottom, they desperately needed three points off fellow strugglers Chelsea today. Well, that's, I've done all I can. It's up to them now. Chelsea started the stronger. They nearly scored in the first minute. And then again when Frank Sinclair hit the post. It was a busy afternoon for the Sheffield United physiotherapist. With his side under pressure, one of several sorties was to attend Dane Whitehouse. Oh! Just crashed into the boards and caught his ankle a bit. I don't think he's too bad, though. So we've been watching for a few minutes, see how he goes. Any luck that was going went Sheffield United's way. Willie Falconer connected with Kevin Gage's cross. Something to cheer about on the Sheffield United bench at last. But for Chelsea and the Premier League adjudicators, was this an own goal from Steve Clark? Having backed himself at 9-1 to one to score the first goal, Falconer was hoping otherwise. When Alan Kelly saved Mark Steen's shot with his head, Chelsea must have realised they were never going to score today. The frustration was quite evident. Roger Milford's final whistle confirmed Sheffield United's first win in 13 games. No serious injuries for Derek French to worry about, but he was in danger from his colleagues. That's the price you pay. For Chelsea, it's one point out of 21, and player manager Glenn Hoddle isn't finding things easy. It was a cruel goal against us as well. There was two deflections. It's actually come off one of our players. The last touch has been out one of our players. Them sort of things happen to you. We've hit the post, we've had a penalty decision turned down. You know, these are not excuses, they're all facts of the 90 minutes of football. Yet we've come off, you know, you sit in the dressing room thinking you deserve more, you've come off with no points again. And we are now in a dogfight.